Hi, I'm Colt Sebastian Taylor, and you're watching Colt's Cult Classics here on It's Relevant TV. Hi, I'm Colt Sebastian Taylor, adventurer, entrepreneur, and amateur movie reviewer, and welcome to another episode of Colt's Cult Classics. Today, I review 1987's The Running Man, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, a man that needs no introduction. Uh, this movie uh, also stars NFL great Jim Brown. Uh, it also has future governor of Minnesota, Jesse the Body Ventura, and uh, Fleetwood Mac's uh, Mick Fleetwood, just randomly in this movie. But it also has Richard Dawson. Who's Richard Dawson? Well, he was on Hogan's Heroes, and he used to be the host of Family Feud. Now, why this is so kind of weird and hilarious is that in this movie, he kind of parodies himself as a game show host of The Running Man. Now, this show, The Running Man, which is basically the plot of the movie, takes prisoners sentenced to life in prison and makes them run this obstacle course, which is being filmed, trying to avoid stalkers, which are these, like, professional wrestling-type folk who are trying to kill them. If they get through the course, hey, they win their freedom. Now, Richard Dawson is the host of this show, and it's filmed in front of a live studio audience, where people cheer and bet, you know, prizes on their favorite favorite stalker, like who's going to kill who first. And it's he plays a really embellished version of himself when he was on The Family Feud. Now, this movie is based off a book by Stephen King, the master of horror, and it takes place in a far off future time, 2017 and 2019. In the future, uh, everyone's hungry. Uh, society has pretty much collapsed. Uh, it's, uh, the, the, the government's totalitarian, okay? It's very much a dictatorship, and American culture has become completely obsessed with reality TV. Hmm. Guess they're, they, they almost really nailed it on that one. All right, so in the future, like I said, everyone watches The Running Man every week, and they have these big high society parties watching it, and then they also, uh, down in the slums, they get together and watch and play bets. Everyone enjoys watching The Running Man. They're very obsessed with this uh, television show. Richard Dawson's character is a, like a national celebrity because he hosts this show. Now, Arnold Schwarzenegger is convicted for a crime he didn't commit. A very popular theme in the 80s. And he has to go through The Running Man to win his freedom and expose all of the awfulness that The Running Man uh, is and the government who's really not freeing these people. They actually do end up dying in the end. And he has to expose them and win his freedom all throughout, you know, running away from these uh, psycho killers who all have a theme. Uh, one's a hockey player, one sings, one uses uh, fire. It's pretty, it's pretty ridiculous. It's like 1980 action movie, just, uh, it's, it's so beautiful. Very violent, very bloody. I wouldn't recommend it for the little ones, but take a trip down memory lane, go back to the 80s to what they thought 2017 and 2019 would be like. I think you'll enjoy it. I always do. I'm Colt Sebastian Taylor, and I'll see you later.